welcome back. Today we're going to do another comparison of watercolors. We are going to compare the Crayola watercolor to the Artist Loft. This one can be found at Michael's. It is a Michael's brand in Canada and the U.S. or you can find it on Amazon. The Crayola one retails for $5 to $10 depending on where you're located. This one I paid, I believe, under $6 for. And this one I paid $20 for at Michael's. So it's anywhere from $10 to $20. The Crayola has 24 colors and the Artist Loft has 36. The main difference I'm hoping is just the amount of colors and the fact that this one appears to be in a harder tray, whereas our Crayola one from last time, these just pop right out, you know, in the little foldy plastic. So let's go ahead and we will get this one cut open because it is shrink wrapped. So let's get this open and then we can go ahead and get out our water and test it. Let me just rip that plastic right off. The tray on this one reminds me more of the crazy art with the tray. And this one, sorry, also lists all the colors that you get. So let's go ahead and get this open. They seal this really good. Can I get the scissors in and we can try to cut the cardboard maybe? Oh. So for sealing the package, they win. But what we really want to see is what these colors look like. There we go. Perfect. And we will rip that cardboard right off. Okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is I want to compare. So there's a light green and there's a light green and there's a pink and there's a pink. There's our black and there's our black. So we're going to compare a few colors just like last time. Let's get this tray open. Ooh. Oh, my tray has a little crack in it right there. And here's the brush. So the brush is taped down. Okay. So this says it's a natural hair brush. And now it's sticky from the tape. So we're going to go and we're going to do some of the colors that are the same. So let me grab my two glasses of water so that I don't mix them up. And I'm going to grab some paper. Let's start with this one. I'm going to have to flip it upside down. There we go. Oh, the lid just came right off. So I guess more than just a crack here, the actual hinge broke off. For the price you're paying, I would expect a little bit better, but we'll just move that out of the way. Okay. Oh, now I'm hitting water. Let's go ahead and we are going to compare, I think, this bright yellow to this bright yellow. Let's start with the Michaels one and see what we can get color wise. It's a nice, oh, that's very bright. I like that. It blends nice. That is actually really, really pretty. Now let's try the Crayola one and we'll get their little brush out. Oh, we'll just move these out. Crayola. Okay, let's do that same bright yellow. So right off the bat, just like last time, it's not as vibrant. Can you see it's leaving little watermarks and it's, it's not as filling. It could just be the brush though. If we compare them, this one is a bit thicker, so we'll give them a little break on that. It does require more water. Okay, let's move on to the next color because we want to compare more than one. Let's do black. A lot of people were saying that the artist choice black was not a true black. So we'll clean our brush and really wet down this black. Let's see. That's a true black. Look at how dark that is. Ooh, I like that. This may be my favorite palette. So there is still watermarks. If you get too much water here, you can see it's not as dark as there. But let's go ahead and give the Crayola a try. And that's brown. 
So it looks like the Crayola one doesn't have a black. There's no other black. That's pretty brown. Do you see in this tray? That looks really black. Apparently that's just brown. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. I really like this purple, but I don't have a comparable color. So let's just go with the bright purple. Mm, pretty watery. Let's see. Hmm. It is a good vibrant purple though. Let's try the Crayola. Get it wet in there. And it's a very different purple again. So unlike the last time where we were able to really easily tell the colors, these ones don't really match. Let's try a red. We'll try one more. This looks like a pretty red. And that's an orangey red. So it's not a true bright red. Hmm. I like the brush. And this looks like the Crayola bright red. Let's give it a go. And that's orange. Okay, let's try this red. And that's another orange. Okay, so clearly the 24 colors of Crayola doesn't actually have a bright red. There it goes. Okay, it's in the pinkish looking one. Does it need a little more water? Okay. So we had to try quite a bit of colors. There's a big difference. This is more of a brown red. Is there another red in this one? There's this purpley red. Let's try that. And that's, yeah, that's more of a purple color. Okay, winners on this one. I would like the tray on this one if it hadn't have broken. That's not gonna help me any, but the base is a solid base. I like the Crayola for the fact that these come out, but again, now you're trying to store them and you have to put wet paint back in a floppy little container. The last few I had of these, this container, it's already gotten wet, didn't do so well and didn't hold up. Price point, I am going to give the winners to Crayola. Color point, artist choice. I don't know. I think overall winner, I am going to go with artist choice and hope that I just got a bad palette because there are so many more colors. Price point Crayola, overall artist choice. What do you guys think? Who is the winner? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now. Bye guys.